All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, all honor, and all glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahawakakodash. I would like to give double honors to my elders and apostles of Great Millstone that do brew well. Peace and salutations to the Lord's elect, the hopeful elect in the one third, pushing his hundred percent truth across the four winds, so we can see the elect and make it to the kingdom. All right, I want to do a quick lesson all through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, and um, really, what's been on my spirit is uh seeking your own salvation okay and uh we're actually going to start with that scripture you know with everything going on as we grow closer and closer to the end all right every day uh, uh every day is another day closer to the kingdom you know and that's a beautiful mindset to have but within this truth you have to think about would the kingdom all right you want to be delivered you want to be saved you know you want salvation you know and uh, i want to read this real quick this is uh, Philippians 2 and 12. It says, Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, okay, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. And now what, what should that tell you? All right. That means on your every, excuse me, that means on your everyday walk and talk, if you will. All right. How you carry yourself, how you conduct yourself what manner of person you are, all right, on and off camera, okay, and um, it makes me think about that in Peter's, <clears throat> the third chapter, all right, uh, um, let me get this, if I can uh, expound further on it, what uh, manner of person ought ye to be, okay, um, right here, this is Second Peter's 3 and 11, seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of person ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Because if you go up, starting at the 10th verse, uh, the 10th verse, it speaks about the, the destruction, all right, the elements melting with fervent heat, all right, there, you know, you understand the prophecy, so what manner of person ought ye to be while hasting, you know, uh, uh, the coming of our Lord and Savior? OK, what manner of person ought ye to be seeking your own salvation? All right. And I'm going to go back to that. All right. Because in this truth, you have to be your own man. OK, you have to do your own study and you have to do your own research. You have to do your own uh, due diligence. OK, so you have to conduct yourself and walk in a certain manner. Your mind should be in a, in a, in a certain manner. OK, uh, 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 be be ye therefore sober. All right, because your adversary, the devil, you know, we have to constantly uh, uh, check ourselves because this, the flesh is um, desperately wicked. All right. The flesh doesn't want salvation. Your spirit wants salvation. Now, I'm going to read this scripture uh, in Jeremiah, and then we got to get to etymology. This isn't going to be a long lesson, but it has been on my spirit about uh, salvation. OK, because, you know, even though uh, the elect are predestined, all right, we in ourselves, all right, are conducting uh, 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 ourselves to be what? Delivered, okay? And deliverance is what? Salvation, because salvation for all Israel, all right? But we want to be delivered on this side, all right? We want to be delivered on this side. That's what your mind, you know, should be focused on, deliverance on this side. Not a quitter mentality, not a, a woe is me mentality, not a just, oh, well, you know, if I'm destroyed, I'm destroyed. No, you want to be delivered. OK, we want to be the first fruits. That's a, a what they call a winner's mentality. That's seeking your own salvation. A lot of our people don't or haven't been given, you know, the faith or the willpower or the endurance, you know, to to tackle the task at hand. All right. This is Jeremiah uh, 17 and um, nine. It says the heart is deceitful above all things. Now, when you go into the etymology of the word heart, it means spirit. OK, it means your spirit or what your mind. OK, so your mind being in the flesh. All right. Of the stony heart. All right. Your 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 mind is going to go astray because the flesh is against the spirit, as it says in Galatians, if I'm not mistaken. OK, the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? So you have to know your own self. You have to understand that this flesh that you're in is against the salvation that your spirit is seeking, okay? They war one against another, all right? The flesh is against your spirit. The flesh is against your salvation. And and, and it's crazy that the flesh is against uh, uh, this, the, the salvation, man, okay? 
Um, let's read this real quick. This is Galatians 5 and 25, and it reads, matter of fact, let's start up. We have to start up. We have to start up because this is, uh, this whole, this whole thing is good. Uh, Galatians 5 and 16, this I think, this I say then, walk in the spirit and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. The flesh doesn't want to be delivered. The flesh wants a com complacency. The flesh doesn't want salvation. The flesh wants, you know, the, the, the fruits of this, this world, you know, it wants the things, the tangible, the touching, you know, the, the, um, the things it can see, the temporal gain. We are looking for eternal gain and that's salvation. Okay. That's why you have to, you have to understand that the battle starts within you. That's why it's about seeking your own salvation. You have to battle the flesh that you're in. That's why it's called the chains of darkness. Uh, the, the, the laziness. Matter of fact, I'm just going to keep reading. It's going to go on to it. Galatians 5 and 16. This I say then, walk in the spirit and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Right. Uh, uh, what's it say in 1 John? The lust of the eyes. Hey, there's sometimes your eyes will look a place your spirit don't want to. You see? That's the battle. And that's you seeking your own salvation, fighting against what the flesh wants to do and doing what the spirit wants to do all through prayer and supplication. OK, that's why prayer is very important. All right. Uh, 17 for the lust, excuse me, for the flesh lust is against the spirit. See, and the spirit against the flesh. The spirit wants to do a lesson. The flesh just wants to relax. Right. And these are contrary the one to the other <clears throat> so that ye cannot do the things that ye would. But if ye be led of the spirit, ye are not under the law. Right. Because now we don't make void of the law. But righteousness doesn't come by the law. Predestination is in effect, but our spirit, all right, lives by the laws, but our flesh wants to live against it, okay? This is why Yahweh Shai was telling uh, uh, the men, hey, even when you look at a woman, you're committing adultery, you see? Because that's what the flesh wants to do, but the spirit doesn't, all right? Now it says, uh, now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these, adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulation, wrath, strife, sedition, heresies. That's what the flesh brings. You see? Envying, right? Even the flesh, when you're in a, a woman, she'll envy another woman the way she looks. Murders, drunkenness, because the flesh wants that. Reviling and such like of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you in time past, that they which do that like it, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of the most high, but the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance against such. There is no law and they that are Hamashiach have crucified the flesh with the affections and lust, right? Which makes me think of first uh, Peter's the fourth chapter, the time remaining uh, uh, the time remaining in the flesh should be to the will of the most high, you know, just because you know that you can have multiple wives. D d d is that what your spirit wants or that's what your flesh wants? That's what your flesh wants. It's not your spirit. Our spirits desire salvation. You know, our spirits desire the kingdom. The flesh wants a kingdom in captivity. It's a big difference. So a part of you seeking your own salvation is uh, mortifying your members. OK, knowing that the flesh is your enemy. All right. Galatians 5 and 25, if we live in the spirit, <clears throat> let us also walk in the spirit. Let us not, let us not be desirous of vain glory, provoking one another, envying one another. So the point is to walk in the spirit. So you don't what? Give over to the flesh. Okay. And that is what? Seeking your own salvation because the, we're in the true hour and the true hour all right, I've been bringing this out a lot through the spirit, but this is the time we're in. It's the, the true hour is what? John 4 and 23, but the hour cometh and now is when the true worshipers shall worship the father in spirit and in truth for the father seeketh such to worship him. All right, and that's what we're here to do. We're here to worship the father in truth and in sincerity, the sincerity, excuse me. And that's what? Through the spirit. And this is the, the etymology, etymology for salvation. Originally in the Christian set, the saving of the soul. You see, that's what we're waiting on for our souls to be delivered. Okay. Salvation of the spirit. 
all right? This is why the truth has made us free, all right? But we have to continue to endure until the end, all right? We have to continue to uh, uh, mortify our members, all right? And we have to continue to seek Yahweh Bashim El Shai while he may be found, man, okay? This is why you have to work out your own salvation, all right, you're doing your due diligence, you're studying, you know, your prayers, your fasting, you know, the things that you have been given in your lot to do that's pleasing to the Father and not pleasing to the flesh. And I just want to end it on one more and then I'm done. This is First uh, Peter's 4 <clears throat> and 1. For as much then as Hamashiach has suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourselves likewise with the same mind. For he that has suffered in the flesh has ceased from sin, that he no longer should live the rest of his time in the flesh to the lusts of men, but to the will of Yahweh Bashem Shai. And you doing that is seeking your own salvation. Doing what's pleasing to the Lord is seeking your own salvation and not giving up to what the flesh desires, and that's the lust of men, which is a temporal world, which we are in captivity in, okay? We look for the things that can't be seen, not the things that are seen, because the things that are seen are temporal, but the things that can't be seen are eternal, and that's what our spirit wants, eternal, okay? So, Lord's will, you brothers and few sisters were edified and moved through the spirit as I was, and I just want to say, call halal, Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahushai, Baha'u'l-Kodash, with that being said, Shalom.